Mm. All right, then we are live. Oh. And now the silence. Yep, I just wanted it to be awkward for the first time viewers. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Listen in on the uncomfortable silence after you know, since we're live. There's nothing like introducing people to stream, or I don't say anything. So we're gonna sit here for the next fifteen minutes. What the fuck? Just, <laughs> Jesus. Just kidding. Uh, however, where we last left off with the uh, party shenanigans, you guys uh, took your dear sweet time and figuring out a puzzle. And uh, for those of you that are new to watching us, uh, check that video out on the YouTube. It is quite hilarious. It's, uh, it's listening it's, to them sit it's and an experience. <laughs> it, is. it is something. It is your typical D and D party failing to figure out puzzles. It's an experience. Um. Yeah, but you guys did end up teleporting all the way back to Western after the fight with the liquid and finding its quote unquote treasure in the form of a sea captain's attire. The hat is mine. <laughs> Just have to ask. What can you <laughs> uh, my memory's a little foggy. I don't remember if you guys actually did anything when you got to Western. No, it ended there. Yeah, I think that's okay. where they ended. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. what I thought, but I wasn't 100% sure. I should have watched the videos. <laughs> yeah, amongst my vacation time. Uh, anyway, yeah, we will pick right back up with you guys uh, immediately being teleported uh, onto the streets of Western after. Also watching uh, a very panicked innkeeper look after his dead father. Where we will pick back up from. Man, in Grandpa died. I was waiting for his rich backstory. <laughs> Clearly such an important character. Oh god, why? Yeah. Hey, Garrus. Yes. Can I get that hat? All uh, right. Yes. I will reach into the bag, grab the hat from the captain's attire, and hand it to her. I immediately put the bitch on. <laughs> All right. You put the bitch on, <laughs> and are now wearing a very fancy hat. Along with a leather scarf. I am a peak of fashion at this moment in time. Yeah, you are the most fashionable person in the city. <laughs> like you, get a, you get a bunch of, like, looks from people that are passing by. And it's like, wow. She's just gonna kind of, like, turn and look at everyone and, be, and, like, put her hands up and be like, my life is complete. I am happy now. And that's all it took? Yes. Sorry. There you go. It's a... I kind of have a pitiful life, man. Captain's hat's peak happiness right now. Yeah, join the club. We have a... Stay. Do we have a place to stay entire? Mm, yeah, probably. I figured we were just gonna keep crashing on Winston's estate. <laughs> At some point he's... he's gonna get really tired of those. If he isn't already. That's fair. Oh, a bunch of. 
I don't remember him being there the entire time we were crashing at his house. At this point, does he even live there anymore? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Better than nothing. This, uh... We still have wet clothes on. Yeah. You get this wet clothes. <laughs> they will dry. So do Winston's? <laughs> Subtle. That, that helps. <laughs> Why are you rolling that just to me? <laughs> I roll it just to you. Yeah. Oh. It's weird. Why is it you? <laughs> I don't know. How do I think? You're just at the top of your sheet above your AC. But your roll output. Oh. Yeah. All right, so you guys making your way toward the uh, Winston State? Probably. There we go. I cast right. it on everybody as we walk. On Solania? Everyone. Oh, everyone. Okay. Dry everybody off. Clean yes. up their clothes. Whoop. Yes. Make them all proper. Some more proper than others with their captain's hats. <laughs> As, as she goes to dry me, I just do that wet animal shake off <laughs> thing right in her face. I kind of figured you were going to do that, so I had a spell already prepped for that. <laughs> I did <it> again. <laughs> Alrighty. We're all clean. We're good. Best. All right, you approach the estate and find two humans outside standing guard. They just kind of look at you as you approach, look at each other. Is the gate open? Alright, the uh, the gate, uh, as you approach, they do open it for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't say anything to you unless you speak to them, but they acknowledge your presence and allow you through. Slani waves at them both. Yeah, they Cal nod Cal back, uh, stare intensely at your captain pet. It looks like they're about to say something, and then they don't. <laughs> As they kind of like avert their gaze and like casually look away and then like glance back and wait for you to go inside so they can shut the gate. And like kind of give a slight nod to Cal too in the process. I'm in. Yes. I'm just following Cal. Yeah, you guys. Make it inside pretty easily. Do 
You all just heading to bed? Yes. Resting up? Cal is. Okay. I need sleep. Yeah? Let I take whatever bed it is. You pick one of the many unoccupied rooms in the house for yourself. So goddamn many rooms. <laughs> Probably lost her. Well, I mean, it's a five story estate, so. We'll find you. That's what <laughs> I'll send a bitch if I get lost. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm sending a tweet. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Got it. 405 under bed turned mimic. Help. <laughs> SOS. Got lost in the fifth bathroom on the third floor. Send you know help. what? Could happen. Could absolutely happen. Uh, yeah, we're okay, you rest for the evening, uh, gaining the full benefits of your long rest, so you are all officially level 9. HP win. I feel better now that I'm melee stronger. <laughs> All right, what's the plan today? The group. You're out. Who we're targeting. Yeah, it says figure out where to go from here. Mm -hmm. Perhaps Professor XLR has learned locations of others. Maybe. I wonder how uh, Theron... I mean, if anyone knows how to try, you can pick one up. I picked up a new spell. What'd you get? Sorry. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want me to say? I'll send that's how he's doing. I'll write it down. But that's so short. <laughs> Hope he's doing well. I miss him. Uh, crying is a uh, image. Oh, so you can. Uh, oh, it is crying. Node, yeah. If it's sending. It's, it's sending. Time. That's the spell I was trying to pick up. Okay. I was like, yeah, Scry, you can see what he's doing, but he wouldn't be able to see you. But... Change my. Level sending. Sending is third level. Third level? Yeah. Is it scrying or sending? Well, scrying's a fifth level spell, sending is a third level spell. It just depends what you're trying to do. I'm pretty sure they're both hard spells. Mm, yeah, I think so. Can look right here real quick. Hard spells. Third level. That big. Fifth they level. Are. Right, yeah. There's a lot of bard spells. Mm -hmm. so, uh... Well, I can scry him. Keep scrying because I think to have. You're gonna scry him? Yeah, I'm gonna scry. Okay. I'm actually gonna scry two. No. Cast one spell. Should have did it last night. But I wasn't like that suck. Anyway. I cast grind. Okay. Oh, you take 
10 minutes to cast the scrying spell. Okay. At your current Uh, okay. So you attempt to scry to Theron, and your spell fails. Oh, I should have inspired myself. <laughs> <laughs> that is surprising. Uh, I picked up another spell. Is there... Um... Well, I I don't know how they're doing, so that that one I can't try. To... Yeah, this is the first time you used this spell. You're not sure why it failed, but you're assuming that there's something in how the spell works that's making it difficult. You actually. I want to think all day. See. Or even go, um, is there like a by Bardic College or a this library? This one has a huge library. I'll check oh. the library. It does Bards. have a collection of books, but there is a college in the city itself. I'll go to the college. Which it sounds like Leaf was hidden. Leaf was heading there? Well, you mentioned uh, the professor. Well, I thought it would be something that we would all go do, but... Yeah. That's a test. Let's go. Can always, we can always hit multiple places <laughs> along the way. Yes. You don't want to hit places. That's terrible. You damage them. Figuratively like speaking, before I... Oh, What's the plan? I'm gonna spend. That cut out your saying something? I'm going to spend new spells. Okay. I don't think my my things work. Technical audio issues there. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Thought it was just me for a second. It's like I'm getting like every other word. You were not the only one. Okay, so while she's figuring out the uh, technical side of things, oh, that perfect timing. Mm -hmm. So what is the plan for the rest of you? Hmm. Um, go to the professor. Yes. Yeah, I think you know. I think that sounds good. Here. Okay. We could also hit. We could also hit a couple of the. Uh, Local inns and taverns, see if anybody's heard any rumors outside the city. Again with the hitting. Seriously, you're so abusive. <laughs> Violence is not the answer. Except in D&D. &D. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys headed to first? Um, oh, the library in the college. Okay. Yeah, you, you, cool. you guys would know that the college itself is not super far from Winston's estate. Uh, cool. It's, it's a short journey. To get to the inns and bars, you have to go the opposite direction. 
Oh, it's, no, there's not really anything on the way. Abigail's going to the library and she can't do a lot of damage there. The boys are going to the ends of bars. I'm going with the boys! <laughs> I mean, I was recommending it. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna head to those spots after we take care of the library. <laughs> I mean, the city's huge. It is a big city. So, like, we could totally do two things at once. True. It'd actually probably save us a lot of time. So, we split in the party? Sounds like we probably might. Sounds like it. But I know where you guys are heading-ish, so I'll catch up to you guys later if I find anything interesting. Well, Abby, I'll, I'll come with you just to make sure you don't get lost, because I, I know this place is kind of confusing. I will also I go with you. would love that. Thank you. Both of you. No problem. All right, so it sounds like uh, Cal, Abigail, and Leaf are going to the college. Yes. Yep. Which means Melania Garris. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so Starting up the old rumor, man. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Going to the uh, the bars. Yep. Hit, hit Starting the, the old rumor out. mail. Setting sail on the open bars. Oh, yeah, and Skelly. Yeah, and Skelly. Well, yeah, always. Barky is there too, just being quiet because he's a good dog. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. All right, Sparky. Can't forget about Sparky. I forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Josh. Oh, we, don't, we don't forget about him. Just... Yeah, you okay. Fair? I also forgot about it. Yeah. Alright. So you... Journey. Uh, your separate ways. Solania and Garrus heading southeast. And the other three heading northwest. Which district? Uh, we'll start with the start with the people at the bar. <laughs> All right. Make your way southeast, walking for quite a while actually before encountering. Your first tavern. Uh, assuming you're not really scoping the place out, you're just going in, correct? Yeah, mostly just going in, sort of going to try and get any more information if from either barkeeps or patrons on what the hell's been going on outside the city for any travelers. Okay. Uh, well, it's the middle of the day, Alfred, so uh, as you go inside, uh, there are no patrons in this tavern. But the barkeep looks like he's fast asleep, waiting on the counter. All right. Just gonna walk to the bar. Set a couple silver down. Uh, see about getting him up as pleasantly as possible. All right. How it's do you punch. go about this? Yeah, hit hitting the bars <laughs> <laughs> with violence, of course. 
And I, I'll just sort of like tap one of the silver coins on the bar, see if it gets him up. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, rolls over and faces you. She's like, oh! Sorry, I'm drunk. It's alright. About how drunk is this man? <laughs> Make a medicine check. And <laughs> what time is it? Early morning. What the fuck? And that what? I'm it? more wondering why the point. bartender is drunk. Slow day. Then again, it is early morning. Early morning. forget all the bullshit that happens at night. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, highly intoxicated. Like, he's not done drinking. Why are they he's even done. open? Yeah. 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 I'm just sort of going to look at him like... And then look at Solari like... Okay. I don't think we're going to get any information out of this man. What Probably kind of not. information are you looking for? Weird spooky demons? Why are any? you looking for weird spooky demons? Why are you drunk in the middle of the actually beginning of the day? Why are you so pretty? Do you want me to sober him up? Nah. This is are bad. you sure? I think you'll be more articulate. Well, that's up to you. I'm just here to make sure you don't go to jail. I will pop five like points of lay on hands just to sober. Because we have specified that this technically falls under lay on hands territory. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, you use five points of lay on hands to Food is served. hear the poison. And he just stands up straight. It's like, okay, how can I help you? Also, I like your hat. We're sort of hitting the local area to see if anybody has any information on if there's been any weird goings on from any travelers. Like, what's the local rumor mill looking like? Certainly no devils or demon. Thank you. I very much enjoy my hat. Also, yeah, we didn't expect a whole lot with that. So, no word on any strange occurrences happening on the road then? Nothing aside from the usual Ravager attack. But then again, it's been about three days since I've seen anybody. Alright. Did you ever think you know it? Yeah, that's okay, yeah. Well I think that's about all we're gonna that, that's about it, I'm assuming. Just local attacks. Nothing really else of note, I'm assuming. Not really. <laughs> He probably either doesn't have a clue as to what's going on because he hasn't seen anybody. Um, or he just that. doesn't get customers. That could also be it. When's the last time somebody's been in here? About three days. <laughs> I will... I Garrus will leave the silver on the counter and just I bid you a good business day, hopefully. I hope so. And he takes his leave. Cause this is gonna get real awkward real quick if we linger anymore. <laughs> I mean it's already Thanks. awkward. Have a good one. Thank you. She just kinda like waves as they walk out.
You, you see him reach down and pick up a glass. Start drinking. Well, this is going to be a long day. Yeah, for the most part, we'll just be continuing that process throughout the city. Okay. Uh, make a general investigation, Jeff. Alright. An advantage. Solania's cool hat is helping with the investigation. Nine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Doesn't really seem like anything's going on. Just weird. Well, can you keep my ears and eyes peeled for anything after that? In the meantime, all right, we'll cut over to the college goers. You make your way uh, to the campus. Busy as usual. Where would you like to go first? Um, the library. I want to go to the library. They can go to the professor if they want to see him. I just ask either Cal or if there's uh, maybe a student or a professor in there. You can ask them, hey, hey. You know, if, is there a library in here that I need to go look at a library? I mean, yeah, they very easily point you in the direction of the library. No need to roll anything for that. Um, so you are either guided at your wishes or escorted however you please. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, meet me back here in about an hour. Okay. We can do that. All righty. If I'm still um, reading, just poke at me, because whenever I read, I, I lose track of time. But I'll be that way. And I point. And All then right. I head off. Sure. And I'll probably just spend my time in there looking things up. Sure. Uh, we'll go to you guys first then. Are both of you going up to XLR's office? Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah, you guys know where it's at. It's very easy to go up there. You make your way up and find that the door is closed. But you hear I... slight whispering inside. I no, open the door. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you open the door and find that he is uh, in a conversation with somebody. Um, and he pauses in the middle of a sentence and looks over at the door. It's like, oh, how can I help you? Professor, we've destroyed another one. Good. That makes 
five, six? I believe so. As there are fewer of them now, we are running low on leads. And we came here wondering if you had learned of the whereabouts of any more of these things. Um, actually, that's uh, why he's here. And he glances over at a strange creature for both of you, as they are not very common. Uh, there is a strange wizard-like person that was speaking with XLR moments before you walked in. I, I turn to face this new creature... Assuming XLR is going to introduce him. <clears throat> Let him speak for himself. <laughs> so, essentially, Kavgum turning. And from what you guys can see, he has one arm that is entirely made out of, like, bronze. Looks like his tail is as well. And just... What is he? He is a lizard folk! Oh, God! He is based on an earless monitor, and his, his scale color is more of, like, a sandy, yellowish-brown. Um, He is wearing essentially a cloth skirt, just enough to cover anything that might be considered indecent. <laughs> but it looks very <clears throat> stained with various oil or blood or... Both. Yeah, a little bit of both. And kind of just slunk around his feet is a what looks to be a bronze lizard. <laughs> This one has questions. I, I turn. I turn back to Professor XLR. You have questions? No, no. He has questions. He just talks like that. It's not perfect. Common. More of a third person. You'll get used to it. This one wishes to know what specifically you have destroyed. What have we started calling them, Cal? Acolytes? That sounds... Isn't that what a Fauriel called them? I think they called them emissaries. Emissaries, that's what. We destroyed an emissary from above. Which... Um, well, we've actually destroyed a few, uh, but I'm assuming you mean the most recent one, uh, which would have been what we, we started calling it the liquid because it was completely made out of water. It was actually very hard to fight because the first time we fought it, it was in water. And when something is made out of something and it's consumed by, it, it's hard to see the original something. I'm sorry. I, d I didn't get your name. My name is Leaf on the Wind. Everyone calls me Leaf. Uh, this is Cal. 
Hi. This one is referred to as Kavgum. Kavgum. Yes. I I know of your people, uh, though I haven't actually met any of your kind from the northern marshes, although from where we are, I I would say southern marshes. Is that correct? Or are you from another area? This one hails from the sands of Marquette, I believe you call it him. I, I look over at Cal. Where's Marquette? That's a good distance away. Ah. A far traveler. Indeed. This one has been seeking information on these emissaries. However, not many seem to know about them. Well, their actions are often time hidden. They like to control people. So, those being controlled are the ones left with the blame, not the emissaries themselves. Yeah, Much like our one. professor friend here, who we almost killed, did kill, I don't remember. Did we kill you, or did you, like, go off somewhere? Very much still alive. Okay. Yes, this one was discussing matters with the Professor before you entered. But now this one does wish to know if you have encountered one of three glowing eyes. That one, that doesn't sound familiar. Did we kill one with three glowing eyes? I don't, three, I feel like, would stand out. Looking at Cal. I'm sorry, what? Did we kill one that had three glowing eyes? I feel like that would have stood out. Do I remember if one had three glowing eyes? Um... You would like to remember that the narcissist has three eyes. Three glow. Oh, I believe that one's still around. Well, it seems, yes, it seems we haven't taken care of that one. This one worries most about that one. That one carries the most danger of them all. So we've been told. Why, why are you looking for them? <laughs> this one has encountered... Similar entity in the past. Just kind of holds up the metallic arm. This one has lost an arm to one of them. Yeah, that sucks. However, this one seeks more information. Knowledge, I suppose. Or knowledge, this one would suppose. Well, we have a uh, a few others with our little group that we uh, we've been working <clears throat> with lately, so we can might be able to pool our resources and help each other for this. Some things that would be advisable. It is unwise to hunt such creatures alone. Yeah.
Yeah, they're definitely dangerous. Dangerous indeed. No carrying knowledge beyond what this one thought once possible. Well, we can definitely do that uh, if you would like to follow us to meet back up with our friends. Unless, Professor, you had anything, any, any other information you could help with us? Not at the moment, unfortunately. <clears throat> Mostly looking into small hearsay, but nothing. For sure. Nothing that I know. This one mm. is certain they could have passed information amongst themselves. If multiple have been dying, the others will be more cautious. Unfortunately. The only one we still have a lead on. Which one? I believe the reflection is to the east. Or to the west, sorry. The west. I was about to say the... the... The page says west. Yeah. Yeah. West of Western. <laughs> yes. Were we able to narrow it down to where in the west? Last I was able to tell was somewhere in or around Yvonne. Well, I suppose we could head that way. Maybe we'll get lucky. And we'll find it, or maybe we'll be very unlucky and it finds us. Either way, it'll, we we find it. Hopefully. <clears throat> Kalkin stands up and the lizard around his feet moves to reveal that it is a crocodile. <laughs> Make entirely out of the middle. Well, this one thanks you for your time, inclining his head to the professor. But if no more is to be said, then this one believes we need to be moving. Great. We just need to pick up one of ours from the library here. She's doing some research. And then we can go find the others. Kind of... The, 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 the kind of brow ridge over one of his eyes just kind of goes up just at research. <laughs> yes, I don't know exactly what she's researching. and Hopefully it'll be something that helps with this endeavor. But who knows? Maybe you can ask her yourself when we find her. This one does not believe that the locales of research here will contain much, unless this one has already missed something. Well, let's go find out. Thank you, Professor. Anytime. And I leave. All right. You make your way back to the library. Um, so Abigail, what is it you were searching? I am searching about new spells that I haven't. Why did sending? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry. And I'm also looking on um, um, alternative uh, materials I can use for greater restoration.
Alternative? Alternative. Like if there's some sort of um, makeshift material that somebody found that nobody knew about or whatever. Uh, okay. Like if there was a um, sort of arcane focus somewhere in existence or whatever that somebody used to have able to cast Greater Restoration or any other powerful spell without using components. I'm just curious, even though it's probably not true. It's just I was looking up for reason. Okay. Um, Mostly it's oh, for the scrying. Yeah, go ahead and roll a uh, investigation check. Okay, yeah, you don't find anything on the uh, al alternative spell components, but you do find uh, general notes on. Uh, various divination spells. Mm -hmm. Assuming that there's got to be information on Scrag in there. Uh, uh, what you do find? Oh. Okay. In the Scrag section of the book. Perfect. And I'll just take my time reading it. Okay. Um. Tell you right now, you uh, you read through the actual wording of the spell, mm -hmm. and the first thing that pops out at you is that the creature must be on the same plane of existence as you. What? No. 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 Oh no. Oh, like this cannot be true. And I run up to one of the uh, librarians and I'm pointing it out. Is this true? Shh. Is, is this true? This this part right here. Siri, I'm not a spellcaster. Oh, father. Oh no. Oh. Cal's not gonna like this. Nobody's gonna like this. Okay. If I try tomorrow, I'm gonna use his cloak, and if that doesn't work, then you know for a fact he's on a different plane. Oh no, I hope he didn't die. Oh, my heart's hurting here. Okay, thank you. Can I, um, check out this book? Uh you're not a student, so no. It, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bard. I'm a student everywhere. You are not a registered student at the college, so no. Can I register and then take the book? Yes, you can go through the registration process, but it takes about two months. So, as of right now, no. Okay, I'll, I'll just copy this down. Thank you. <sighs> so, I... Take another about five minutes to write it down. All right. Um, it's not long after that that uh, that Leaf and Cal return with uh, two new friends. <laughs> two new friends. I'm sure the crocodile's not raising any eyebrows whatsoever. I am confused. Oh, there's a crocodile with them. So there's a lizard folk man and a crocodile. Meto crocodile. Yeah, made entirely out of bronze. Sorry. Uh, a cow, leaf. Hi. Oh no no no. What is wrong? Oh. Hey, you sound I'm worried. Great. I am. And I read him a sentence of my scrying spell. This. <clears throat> it, 
I don't think Farron's on this ex plane of existence. Is that bad? Yes and no. If, yes, if he's dead. No, if he jumped planes. Like, maybe to the fight Baywild or any of the other planes in existence. But, I don't, I don't know if he's alive. I'm sure he's okay. He's probably just traveling from one place to another, looking for info. Does he do that? Can he do that? Well, he might have some friends we don't know about. Okay, I'll, I'll try tomorrow. Um, I'll I'll need his cloak that he let Leaf borrow. Maybe that'll help. Oh, I don't feel good, Cal. It's okay. Like I said, he's probably all right. Okay. Oh, who's this? As she looks up, that's a new friend. This is... Who's just been staring at her the whole time, like, all, like a confused dog, just head cocked. <laughs> uh, this is, and I apologize if I pronounce this wrong, Kovgim? Is that right? That is what this one is called, yes. Yes. He, his name is Kovgim. Uh, he also refers to himself in the third person. Oh, okay. Hi, Kovgim. I am Abigail, and this is Sparky. She said Sparky. <laughs> Cobham just kind of puts his foot on the crocodile's back. <clears throat> that is a massive pet you have there. Or friend. Um... Uh, excuse me, I am out of words today. I don't feel like myself. And I, I. Are you. Do you need me for something? Well, we, uh. We didn't get any new leads, but we were reminded of an old one, I suppose. Uh, there's the. What was it called again? The reflection. The reflection. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, which is to the west. So we are going to go west and see if we can find it. Uh, the professor was able to narrow it down to the Iman area. So we were we were going going to go find the others and then head that way. Never been there. I that sounds exciting um, and dangerous because if we're gonna face the reflection there, which means the isn't that the one that copied you, Cal? Was that the one that copied me? Mm hmm. As far as, I as, far don't as remember. we thought, out of him, the ones that were copying him were the two only. I thought the one that copied him was captured. The one that copied him, there was two, and it didn't happen after we killed the Oni. Right. So, as far as we would know in game, it was the game. But... <clears throat> Well, either way, we wouldn't know, I don't think. Or you guys wouldn't. I'm just curious. Because. Reflection and then having a copy of Cal is kind of strange. So, I guess we're heading to Elon to face this emissary. I'm glad we, uh, we know where to go, at least. Right. 
I think I'm done in the library. I didn't find anything else. Then let's go find the others. Oh, yes. That sounds like a good... <laughs> you guys uh, exit the college campus, begin making your way down to the. Yes, thank you, Joe. Uh, the uh, residential area for uh, the. Pub crawl of the century. <laughs> and uh, everybody can make perception checks as well. Okay. <clears throat> perception. I should say everybody here, not at the bar. Everybody what? Everybody that's here, but not at the bar. Mm hmm. Maybe. No, I hit investigate. Uh, I guess I could roll perception for my my friend. Yeah, technically. Me too. It's it, it's set for strength just because that's how um, it has the right fucking modifier. Oh. Plus two more because my perception is plus three. Yeah. Wow. That is nice. the most like straight narrow spread. Perception checks. <laughs> right. Surprisingly good for me. <laughs> so mine's actually 14. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Cal, uh, you are the only one to notice uh, that nearby over an alley, uh, so it's, it's difficult for you to see from your angle because you're shorter, but uh, you do see it, barely, uh, as... You see somebody drop something into an alley, uh, followed by a thud. Drop something? Yep. You weren't able to see what it was, because uh, you just weren't quite tall enough. Uh, but you, you saw them kind of like either drop or push something over the edge of a building from a rooftop. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, I should have made that more clear. Yeah, yeah, he was above you sense. on the roof <clears throat> and either dropped or pushed something off of the roof. Into and, the alleyway. Yep, into the alleyway. Batman. Gotcha. Batman. I'd let the others know what I saw. See, it see might them. not be anything, but... After that, you see them kind of like glance around a bit and then scurry off uh, away from... The owlbear? <laughs> no, he's only in Wild Mount. Hmm. This is actually a man bat. Oh, God. <laughs> God. It's a man bat. Go it's half it. bat, half man. Well, bat over. dresses a man. <laughs> yeah, Let's investigate the sound. What could it hurt? Yeah. We have time. <clears throat> investigate. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> 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 All right, so you guys uh, move into the alley. Uh, and you find a uh, small, you know, a small sack. I guess is the way of describing it. Like, how big are we talking? Like the size of Cal. Yeah. Okay. What did we What do we see? Sorry. It's a, it's it's a sack about the size of one of you guys. Oh. Okay. That is a very big sack. Why would yeah. somebody drop a random... It's a bomb. It's a sack. 
is there any possible way to make out anything of what might be inside? Uh, well, you see something pulling at the bottom of it. Ugh. Does it smell Keeping like out. blood? <laughs> yeah, 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 to you, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Kafka's eyes just narrow. Well, then. Um, who wants to go check it out? I vote Cal. <laughs> just <laughs> Kavgum already just walking up to it. Just kind of kick it <laughs> with his foot. Like, not hard enough to try to do any damage, but just to see if something reacts. All right. I think it's dead, friend. You kick it, and yeah. It, nothing happens. Just, uh, <laughs> nothing. Doesn't sound like anything, like change? No, it, it sounds like he just kicks like a lump of meat. <clears throat> you hear like a slight, like, <laughs> uh, I, I feel like we should get the authorities for this one. Cal is the authority. <laughs> not currently. He said not currently. <laughs> He did something bad juju. <laughs> I was for a while, but not now. It might be a dead body. But yeah, I saw somebody uh, push him off this roof up here. Okay, well, that, that's suspicious. Yeah, I thought it seemed Do we suspicious. want to look at the body before we... Open the bag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, just open the bag. <clears throat> All right. Tear open the sack. Yeah, pretty and, much. Uh, <laughs> find a very much stabbed to, de to death halfling male that very, very closely resembles Cal. What? <laughs> Just look at the body. This one you... thinks you may have made enemies. What's inside? Just looks at Cal again. Looks back. Cal just has a blank stare for the moment. Same here. This one hopes that you do not have siblings. <laughs> what? I kind of peek over. <clears throat> and see what I saw and back up. Yeah, he, yeah you peek based. over and see a corpse that resembles Cal very closely. There are distinctive differences. You can see, but at a quick glance, it we'll looks like Cal. That. I don't wanna. <laughs> yeah. Just... Come on, Cal. What a bus. And then Kavka nods and walks away. <laughs> and just walks out of the alley. Not really care. Who would do this? Who was it? Cal, look. Seriously, it's dead. And then, I don't know if anybody's going to do it, but I will. I'm going to go call a guard. Cal, yeah, Cal's just still in a blank stare. We just can't believe <clears throat> this shit's happening again. I just kind of, like, wave my hand in front of Cal's face, like, Hello, Cal. 
I see lights uh, over the video. Start snapping in front of his face. Hello. Shake his shoulder a bit. Ah, oh, sorry. I just don't like this. What does it mean? I don't know. As this, as this one says, this one believes you may have made enemies. Abigail, you find some nearby guards and escort them to the alleyway. And it's, he's there, in the bag. As I kind of like, stand my distance, I don't really get close to the... to the alley anymore, I kind of just point down the alleyway. Yeah. They... So my friends are there, waiting for you. They go down the alleyway and... look at the... sack with the corpse in it and go... Wow. It's the fourth one this week. You mean to tell this when there have been more? About three more, yeah. <laughs> Just regular bodies, or are they all halflings? Well, they're all halflings. Very similar to this one. Weird. <sighs> Sometimes it's psycho. Man, I, f I feel bad for any halfling with brown hair and... Yep, she throws un up. Un un it's like most halflings. Yeah. yeah. I better take this one down to the uh, office. Fire up the old uh, flame maker. <laughs> Good job, Cobb. It's like we're just gonna leave the body here. Cobb, I'm just getting flame maker. Just... <laughs> Abigail's gonna go silent after she throws up for a while while I go outside the bathroom. Well, there's one way to solve this. We could leave. And go do what's more important. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Let's get out of here. Let's go find the others. <laughs> Head now. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> well, for Cobham it was more, oh, okay, that's what's in there. This has no significance to me. I don't care anymore. Yeah, it's about how Lee feels, too. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, and then, oh, there's been more of them? Huh, that's weird. Look at Cal. Huh. <laughs> Lizard folk, very practical people. All right, you guys make it the rest of the way. Uh, not immediately finding Sawadia and Garrus, but over time catching up. So, how did the conversation with XLR go? That part went okay. No. Oh. No. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> just seeing the two of them just staring at Garrus, confused. Define okay. What uh -huh. happened? Well, we met this nice fellow. His name is Kovgum. Hello, Hello it was there. A wonderful to meet you. What? <laughs> just happened? Also, I'm Garrus. <laughs> just takes one of his. <laughs> just pulls out a set of tools, takes one of the picks, and just pokes uh... Garrus in like exposed flesh. Then Abigail thinks that Theron is dead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we were coming back, and we found a dead halfling that looked like Cal. Good. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we, we did nothing wrong. 
th- th- this, this was one just heard shit that, that there was four. That we came across. Oh god. Okay. No, I'm I'm sorry. I'm a little weirded out right now. So. Okay. Uh, point of order. Uh, if we go outside the city, let us thoroughly inspect the cart this time. Why? Let's just hope there isn't a second bomb. There's a bomb in the cart? There was there the was. first. This one is interested in seeing uh, this bomb. Also, something that Leaf left out, uh, the guard said that's the fourth one this week. And apparently they're that. all halflings. Oh, I didn't hear that part. This one was very quiet. It was understandable. Okay. Um... I know the feeling. I believe it's time to head out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, uh, where th- any plans on as to where we are heading? Uh, Iman. Yes. Oh, good. Okay, One we second. know somebody there. <laughs> we Hockham, do? are you joining us? This Who do we know in Iman? to find these emissaries, so yes. This one seems uh, no reason not to. Chris, uh, Saladia, uh, I think... It's time we pay William Sharp the 17th visit. Okay. He might be helpful. Despite how much you hate, don't like him. This gives me weird vibes. But now I am the captain! So I'm good. Let's go. I really do like Cal alive. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I like being alive. <laughs> just, just, just Cobgum still looking kind of confused about Garrus. I am not a statue. I know what you're thinking. There is very much the flesh and blood. Thing here is Garrus. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am not a statue. Cobgum nods. <laughs> that is what this one wanted to know. <laughs> okay. It's a very commonly asked question. This one has not seen many like him. To be fair, we are not very very common. The ones this one is used to seeing look more... like this one. <laughs> I would imagine I don't see very many lizard folk outside of the Menagerie Coast. I would imagine so. Hopefully you're faring with this weather more than I am. <clears throat> anyway, let's get moving. <laughs> just, just, just blinking, not quite sure what he's saying, but just... Let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> so, back to the estate to ready up. Sure. I mean, unless you want to head to Iman on foot. Cal pulls his uh, collar up and his hat down a little bit more. Do you want the cloak? No, should be okay. You guys are leaving for Iman. I think we're heading back to the Desweiler estate first. Oh, okay. collect our cart. Yeah, makes sense. Collect their cart, rather. And to check it for traps. Estate, prepare yourself and then head out. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You make your way to the estate. Uh, find your carriage. Check it for traps. Whoever is checking can roll an investigation. Cal is definitely be, looking. I, I I would be interested in attempting to locate this bomb. Kavgan would like to see a bomb. If there is a bomb. Uh, 
Yeah. For my own peace of mind, as I have been subject to one body. <laughs> well, well once again, he doesn't he care as much. Shit. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Okay, 16. All right. And if you find a bomb. Okay. And then the bomb goes up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. These 20 motherfuckers. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's get out of here before another 50 assassins are sent after us. Just narrows eyes and cares. This one thinks that number is excessive. Tell that about the cow. Pulse his collar up a little bit more. Come on. Let's get going. Yeah. Uh, question, Abigail. Could you be able to send word ahead to our delightful friend, William? Yeah, we go send him out yeah, she's not met him. Oh, right. You have to be familiar, remember. Yes, that's why. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's why Theron could contact Afari. <laughs> At this point, I'm just picturing the crocodile is like trying to bite Skelly. <laughs> Oh, Kavgum, very important question. Are you a creature of God? Any God, doesn't matter. <laughs> just, just stares at her, <laughs> blinking. Wonderful. Wonderful. This is Skelly. And she just kind of like holds him up. He looks like a parrot. <laughs> does, he like, <laughs> does he look like a parrot to Kavgum? What the fuck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. This one is not used to a bird of Is it still a dog to us, though? Hello? Oh, yeah, it looks exactly the same as his skeletal form as you hoist him up. Although he just sees a fully formed bird. It's, it's a large parrot, like but it's a parrot. So <laughs> he's just, like, carefully holding him, very confused, and just, like, looks down at Skelly and looks at him. It's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just confused. <laughs> she just like turns Skelly around and looks him dead in the face. Are you messing with us? I swear. <laughs> Woof. Kavgum yeah, just kind of putting his hand on Solanius head, but it's but it's the bronze hand, so it's cold. I don't feel it through my captain's hat. What? <laughs> it's like he's trying to check for fever, but he's using the wrong hand. <laughs> so it's, it's oh, just cold I get metal. You. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just like she just kind of goes for the other one and just grabs the hat and just. Hello. Shrugs. <laughs> You'll find out why he's called Skilly. She just kind of puts him in a... Weird things happen with him. Along with fires. This Sometimes a lot of times called... fire. This one presumes that it's called Skelly because it is animated by necromancy. We don't know what he's animated by. I sure just look rage. at him like... Well, I'm guessing rage. I just but... sort of look at you like that. That is the most receptive thing someone <laughs> has said. I have. This one has seen individuals animated by rage, yes. He was a gift. 
<laughs> we should go. Yep. Yeah, Kyle's uh, just sitting I, I assume this was happening while, while we were heading out. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Just, just like in the back of the cart. Yep, that's fair. And then that's when the bombs go off. No, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a no, yeah, 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 it just turned out it's like speed, so we can't go under a certain <laughs> or Or the bomb goes off. You, you can't go over a certain speed. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. And we no longer have to worry about food. What? <laughs> because Great. we're all dead. Create food and water, bitch. Oh, yeah. I was like, I, I have that spell. I don't have it prepared. You journey out of the western gates of western. Huh. <laughs> hey. And begin your travels westward. It's like we're running west. Uh, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> yes, we're going east. Running in the 90s. Jesus. Going just as fast as we can. <laughs> Commence 80s montage. It's 2020, you motherfucker. <laughs> 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 There's always time for some initial D. Yeah. Oh. Initially. There's always time for a montage set to 80s music. You travel for several days. Okay. Oh, you get your warm rested. Yay. Now that we really needed it. So I spent so many resources. <laughs> did did Abigail want to cast any spells during that time? Good question. I guess not. Alright. <laughs> Cal's gonna cast no wait. <laughs> Cal's going to cast gun. <laughs> oh, Technically, he can now. Cal's going to cast boomstick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Kavgum would just be asking questions about what they've done and what emissaries they've seen thus far. I, I tell him about... everything. Yeah, yeah. We'll give you the rundown of fighting yeah. of how the Predator, the Joker, the Shape Changer, the Liquid, and the Siren all dead. Apparently. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, we you the one we the siren yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know it's dead, but yeah, we, you guys wouldn't know any. Yeah, but technically, we don't. Yeah, it's it's presumed dead or captured. Yeah, that's true. Which one? The that's party true. is unaware. That's true. Yeah, meta gaming. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Fever is encountered, but that is on. Yeah, status on them. And we know the narcissist recording. He's live, but location unknown. He just kind of goes everywhere. And any information on the unknown ones that are apparently also one being west of Western and one being north of Western. <laughs> Gee, would my notes on these things tell me anything about those? Or would I also have just no idea? Uh, you would actually know one of them. Oh, fun! Uh, you would be aware of the architect. Okay. I'm assuming that's the one in my back. Yes. Okay. He is particularly well known, uh, from the the bit you've been able to find out about him before he detached your arm. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he didn't do that himself, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, before one of his traps did. Uh, he is a big fan of traps. Oh, good. Really? Not a rogue. Oh, oh. oh Is it too late to go back to Spork? Oh, God. <laughs> traps and explosions. Yep. I just yeah. part of me is 
feeling. Yeah, just just, yeah. just re yeah, just reading over the notes and just the uh, <laughs> the bronze arm just <laughs> reflexes. Yeah, the uh, your your notes would also tell you that uh, th this emissary is a highly skilled magic user. Mm -hmm. Focusing oh, mostly on evocation and illusion, mm -hmm. uh, and is very skilled in, in alchemical warfare. This just sounds like Sphoric. <laughs> is, 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 <laughs> he is the emissary. <laughs> is that why he left? Like to... <laughs> it's too late to change course. <laughs> turn around! Turn around! Turn around! <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't even think about that the comparison between it and Sphora and Kato. I was like, you said it. I was like, Shh, yeah, 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 definitely. Well, 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 yeah, but considering backstory purposes, yeah. Do you have any notes on last known location? Somewhere in the north. Oh, come okay. on. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. I'll, all this I'll knows... Yeah, all this one knows that it's somewhere in the north. I I just look at the others. Like, that one sounds like it's going to be just as bad as the liquid. From what this one knows of it, potentially... Oh, it, it sounds bad. Now, did you just call it the architect? Does it have yes. any other names? No. Okay, so it seems like the liquid being... Uh, is it an outlier with a name? This one knows the name it called itself. Not necessarily what its name truly is. What did it call itself? Just the architect? That's what it's kind of been calling itself sometimes, but when it must go by a human name, it adopts the guise of Nefrin Ka. Nefrin Ka, okay. Thank you. At least that was the name I knew it by. It might, it likely goes by many others. Makes itself difficult to track, I suppose. From what we know of the reflection, it mainly just resides in, you know, reflective surfaces, if, if I'm correct, Josh, right? What's that? Uh, from, from what we knew of the reflection, it sort of just bounces from a reflective surface to another, right? As far as you know. You're not sure if it can do anything else. You don't know if it can adopt people's appearances or what it can actually do. But... Don't mind me asking, Kafkam, what is your uh, specialty? Besides... This one creates 
Um, specifics? Just <laughs> holds up the arm. <laughs> Yeah, that's a never mind. Yeah, holds up the arm, puts a hand on the mechanical crocodile. Any any familiarity with the arcane or divine? This one uses his creations to simulate spells of both. Yes. Ah, some more of more more arcane backgrounds. Good. Of a sort. Well keep I will do I will keep doing as you say, uh smiting motherfuckers. Nods. <laughs> what time of day is it? Uh, this has taken over the course of a few days. A few days. A few days? This tr we're traveling? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dear one. Oh. Yep, heading to a month. I would have I would have scrolled on the second night, right? Yeah, we we tried to ask, and then you weren't here. You weren't here. <laughs> she was a little AFK at the time. Yeah, it's fine. We're still in that time, so yep. absolutely feel free. Okay, I asked for uh, Theron's cloak and hold it, and I'm gonna try to scry again. All right, try to scry. Years. Your spell fails. Oh no. Can she tell that it like failed or just like fair and succeeded on the save? Uh well she would be able to tell if he succeeded on the save, but the casting portion of it fizzled. Gotcha. Meaning that there was no valid target. He's fine. He's a cleric. The temple was destroyed. Allhammer probably just called him for something somewhere else. It'll be all right. Also, he has Frank. He'll be fine. Who's Frank? The hammer. He called it Frank. That's that's the first. I didn't know he named his weapon. <laughs> just cough him confused, dude. <laughs> this one finds that custom curious. Mm. Okay, well. Do you think he's fine? But twice it failed. If he wanted to be found, I'm pretty sure. This, I'm pretty sure that the All Hammer's helping him not be, you know, sought out by also the emissaries. So let's make sure he has a low profile. But he knows how to jump planes. He is a powerful cleric. If this Theron is allied to a deity, perhaps he has been recalled for some reason. say so, I don't know. He is kind of one of the few left of his order, so, yeah. Makes... Yes, few. As in two. Well. Yeah. So five. Kind of... five. No, remember, remember that one gnome that was with us? <laughs> you mean Sporic? <laughs> I would have scry on him tomorrow. He has your gold. <laughs> you want to check right. on his forum. Good luck with that. I will try. 
I don't have nothing that is though, so it might not work. You have yeah, met it. Me. Yeah. Hmm? That makes it... You've met have... me. Yes, but with an item, it helps yeah. um, him not block me out. We do I have did... the periaps of poison. That yes, Horek did make those. Oh, okay, I guess he used that tomorrow. Or at least one of them. Because that's right, because Winston actually just gave us a bunch after I made one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you rolled the maximum amount to get from him. Yeah. The absolute maximum you've needed. Yep. Yeah, just, oh. Uh, okay. So I guess you guys might want to roll a d6 to see if uh, you, you have the one that Sporic made. <laughs> mm-hmm. Actually, no. You, yeah, because uh, did Theron give? Did did Theron give his, us his yeah. fairy apple for real? Okay, then yeah, we have it. Never mind. Yeah. Because because wore the one that he bought, and then he made one, and then got a bunch more from Winston. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that, I have, that'll help. Yeah, I have it listed here. Yeah, Theron. Perfect. Theron would not have kept that. <laughs> That's perfect. That'll help tomorrow. We should probably give that to our new individual here. Well, For let now. me let me scry first before <laughs> before you give it away. I always forget the very app is non non attunable or non attunement. I would probably try it on the second night. Okay. I'll try scrying again. Sure. Hey, hey, Josh, quick question. Yeah? Is What's-His-Face still with us, the Warlock? No. Uh, he, no, he left. left. Okay, I can't remember if he left. Right after yeah, he teleported, left. he's just like, okay, I guess I'm yeah. going to go. All right. Yeah, we teleported with him back to Western, and then he headed back to Fario. Got it. Okay, I can't remember if he was still with us. Yep. Okay, so I scry. Holding okay. the uh, item. You're scrying on Spork? Yes. Okay. I want, to want their money back. <laughs> so what is your DC? Um, right now, I think it's 25 now because I have plus 10 with the item. Oh. Let's see that's, here. Uh, that, that's a modifier to his saving throw. Uh, yeah. Well, you you can think of it as oh like yeah, addition, or that too. But, yeah, I guess. Uh, would it be the the ten? Because the ten is like a piece of the person. Yeah, the, yeah. I think the it's possession or garment yes. is the it would be a four. Let me, let me cast it. Yeah. I mean, do you keep in mind? Do you know the target well? So that's so our possession chunk. or garment is a minus four. Oh, then you are familiar, so that's another uh, minus so five. So nine. Yeah, minus nine. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess whatever your DC is, plus nine would be what he has to beat. And I don't think Sporic is wise enough to just beat that by itself. Nope. Yeah, even with advantage. Yep. Even at advantage. It rolled really well. Yeah, but... I'm pretty sure if I roll a nat 20, I wouldn't be able to. I don't yep. know because Josh took Sporic's character sheet away. Because <laughs> it turns out Sporic is actually dead. <laughs> no. no, I know. Yeah, you, you scry successfully on Sporic. You find he is amongst some various buildings, uh, unrecognizable. I'm saying this while I'm scrying. Uh, they look highly advanced in uh, architecture. Uh, some of which you have never seen the likes of before. Uh, in and amongst his kind, there are a bunch of gnomes uh, moving past him. Does he look injured or anything? No. Seems fine. Yeah, seems fine. No yellow going guys. Okay. Okay, no signs of possession. 
is there like writing on the wall or anything? Like if there's anything that signifies where this area is at? He's probably looking over some blueprints. Question is, do you, do you read Gnomish? Um, no. But I can probably draw it later. It would be very difficult to draw from memory. Unless you had a keen mind. True. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... It looks like he's in the middle of some kind of construction project. But you're not sure where. So I'll just describe the area that I know and what he's doing. And he seems very well and ha probably looks happy among his people. Actually, he probably looks slightly annoyed. <laughs> That too. Because <laughs> something probably got screwed up. <laughs> like, mm. More like when, when you're working with gnomes, everybody has opinions about how things should be done. Right. <laughs> it's for just, I am the foreman. <laughs> well. If you ever want to find him, I think this will help. But he seems good with his own people. It's very hard. It's nice to see that. That at least he's alive and well. Mm -hmm. At this point, might as well start scrying on everybody we've encountered. Who do you want to scry next? I was gonna recommend the guy who made off with our fucking chest. <laughs> right, dear. Yeah. I don't know who that is. You have met him. I have? He kicked our ass in Mormon City. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also, we have a possession of his. Garrus! Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was the one with the glowing eyes. That's right. Oh god. I I will totally hold on to Garrus while Scry. I don't think it works that way. <laughs> no, I want to see this play out that way. <laughs> this is the third night. Yeah. Third yeah. night. You guys travel for five days in a row before. Okay. On the third so, night, yeah, I'm holding much. on to Garrus's scry. I could just give you his rosary. Here. Oh. Yeah, yeah there okay. you go. Okay, that works Aww. too. What, it would have been fun with you, though. Ruined the whole thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be a minus five or minus four for both. I'm holding him and the item. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. <laughs> no. Uh, just stack it on. <laughs> All right, that's this is our third night. Did it work? The question is: Does the barbarian have a high end of wisdom to see? What is the modifier? Um, I think this one is a minus four and a minus five, so again, minus nine. Well, would he be familiar with Ragnar, or just... No, I met him once. I met him once. Yeah, and... so I think that would just be the flat and the minus Hold four. Hold on, let me see. Um... What's his mother's name? I mean, we did travel with him, so you uh... are... Yeah, true. somewhat. Yeah. Or... Depends on your definition of know the target well. Yeah, that depends entirely on what just would Um, I'd say in this case, 
Probably not well. Nose of the target, yes. Right. So uh, you have met the target is C plus zero. Yeah. And then I have yeah, a, so a minus, minus four. four for the garment. Or the oh. rosary. Ooh, okay. Uh he fails with a minus four. Nice. But only with a minus four. Oh, just just barely. Exact. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just barely failed. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. You see him uh, sitting in a rather wealthy looking room. Like there's a lot of assorted art, various statues of different dwarves, uh, one or two gnomes, you're not really sure, as they're barely within the image. He is wearing fine garments, it's leaning back in a chair, and has his feet up on top of a chest. Oh boy. There's your chest, that guys. Son of a bitch. <sighs> he is bad juju. He's doing that uh, well for himself. You do see uh, on the desk next to him is his blade that royally kicked your guys' ass at the uh, switch axe. Mm -hmm. And there is a, another sword next to it. I see two swords. His, the one that beat the crap out of us. <laughs> and another sword next to it. Do I see any engravings? Uh, I don't know what sword that is. Fuck. <sighs> Uh, you see a few engravings uh, that appeared arcane. Okay. Uh, but you actually do recognize the sword, too. I do recognize the sword. Is it that poison sword? Yeah. It's the poison sword that we got in the lake. Motherfucker. How's his eyes? Bloodthirsty. The usual. Like shot, like red. Angry. <laughs> he just seems irritated too. Or probably yeah. tired. Also makes sense. Why are we always missing our things? Because uh, we have a tendency to be forgetful. We need a portable hole. <laughs> Alrighty. That's it? Maybe that's all I see? That is all you see. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a step up from us selling horses to make a living. This grind will help us make money too. Here in the tavern. Oh, wow. Anybody else you want to do on the fifth night? Or on the fourth night? Well, you don't know William, so 
that's out of the question. She can See, scry on someone that she's not met before. Oh yeah, that is true. It's just it's not just, as effective. Yeah, it's just that there's a modifier yeah. bonus to their save. Yeah. Yeah. Like I a would plus reckon... five. Yeah, it's a plus five. I mean, I would just believe him because he's the only guy we know who resides out of Timon. How about <clears throat> Ethereal? Ethereal. 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 Would that work? I mean, why not? We know him really well. He, there is the uh, demi plane you, issue. You technically have something, is Skelly. I have a feeling, though, his wisdom's high enough to be able to resist. But we have Skelly. Do we have a body part, a lock of hair, or a bit of a nail? You, you think I'm coming within 30 feet of that man? I don't think he has hair. Did he give, like, a body part to anybody? That would just be creepy. Um, Here, no. before you leave, take my lucky finger. <laughs> yeah. They took my yeah. freaking kidneys. <laughs> a bit of hell. No, those are probably in a jar of dirt somewhere. Yeah. I've got the jar of dirt. We're getting there. The way we have options, we have him. Maybe yeah, is Cow like looking for somebody? I think it's uh. I think yeah, it's the opposite. Yeah, she's single. <laughs> yeah, I think it is the opposite. Somebody's looking for Cow. Yeah. Yeah. Who who is it? Uh, Cow, do you want to take the lead on this one? The lead on what? Who is after you? Maybe we can have a heads up. I don't know. I think it was highly suspected, probably Nero. Well, I mean, that one, yeah. I just thought I'm, the whole lookalike thing didn't really feel like Nero. Are you sure? I mean, I can't be positive, but... We did kind of blow up a gunpowder cart by accident. Yeah, but last I knew of, he didn't know I was still alive, so. It, it's possible it could be him, but at the same time, I, I don't know for sure. Alright, what you got going on in the background? Is that me? Oh, no, that's Ryan. Oh, he's sorry. at the club. He's <laughs> 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 got his oh, microphone against his chest like... and we're hearing oh, his heartbeat. My, my, my spooky ass was thinking like, oh, heartbeat. No, yeah, no, it's, it's just I... me. It's me drumming my fingers on my desk. Oh. I was barely getting picked up. So. Oh, if you have nobody that um you guys wish to uh, spy on, I think I used the fifth, fourth day or fifth day, whatever, fourth night on um, scrying my best friend who was in the uh, in the the group I was in that I left alive, ran away from them. They were like, she was still alive when I ran away. Okay. Um, I just told the uh, violin she gave me. Yeah. You scry on her, and 
you find she is in a very dark place. Alive. Seemingly underground. In what appears to be some kind of shallow grave. What? <laughs> Buried alive? Can I see her face? Uh, it is dark. Scrying does not give you dark vision. Just cast your sight somewhere else. It does not give you any special sight. I need to save her. How far was is the area that I ran away from? I mean, you'd be going days? in the direction of the place that the party met you. Actually, you'd be close. We'll be close, right? Cause... Actually, you'd, pa you'd pass by it on this day. Sidetrack, guys. We need a backtrack. Please. <laughs> um, for what? I feel. I just scried on my friend, and I think she's buried alive. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. Yes. I. I. We need to go back where I found you guys, and. It was not far away from the area that that we were attacked. Just have a look at the others. It's kind of you know fair game. She did say we're skiing several times. Oh, yes. Uh, we should Abigail, go save this friend. Abigail, you do hear uh, amongst the uh, now increased heart rate uh, as you are becoming more and more anxious to find your friend. Uh, you do hear a voice in your head. Mm -hmm. It says, Oh, don't run too quick. The more you stress, the faster she dies. Wait, say that again? Don't run too quick. The more you stress, the faster she dies. I relay that message through. Countdown begins. And the countdown begins. Um, what? Uh, I think we got ourselves an emissary. I think so too. Okay. Well, this time it wasn't me. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, just cock him. <laughs> Cocking his head. Just trying to think if he's encountered something like this before. Well, where where do we need to go? It's uh, east of here, right? Uh, it's somewhere in the journey. Yeah, it's just the backtrack. We're backtracking what we just came from. Then let's go. Yes, thank you so, so much. I don't think you should be thanking that thing. No, thanking you guys for coming with. Yeah, it's talking to me. Isn't it dark out, though? Yes. Okay. It means half of us can't see. Yep. We have torches. Yeah, right. and I got, I got daylight. 
and I have my sword. <laughs> and I have the equivalent of a flashbulb. And my flash bulb. axe! So I guess lighting torches and heading back that way then. Yeah. All right. Turn the carriage around. Make your way back. Uh, not very far. About an hour trip. At high speed. To the area that you met Abigail. Uh. Question for the party. D did we remember to get diamonds worth 300 gold pieces? I don't know. I still have... two more. Oh. Okay, good. So we do have components for a river of life. Provided yes. somebody has it prepared. I have it prepared. Here you go. Okay. You can take it. And I'll I will erase it off of mine. I will take one, so we have at least one split between us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just in case. Now it's just a matter of attempting to locate them. Mm. I have... No, I don't have locate. Anyone here have a way of locating? I'm going to send a message out and be like, um, forgot her name. <laughs> I'll just say Crystal. Crystal, are you there? I'll just keep pointing at various directions. I would like to track around to see if I can find any idea oh. of where she might be. Make a survival check. Sure. At night time. Hey, I've got dark vision. Yeah. Yeah. He's a cat. He can see in the 24. Meow. You find a place where it seems somebody was dragged. Hey. But no footprints. Indicating somebody was dragging them. I share that with the party and then start following the direction that this person was dragged. Yep. Following you. Mm-hmm. You follow through the brush. Find uh, partially hidden away on a this, this now like somewhat formed path through this into the drag mark. A beaten down and worn clock with a it is rather like you know, like a grandfather clock. Uh, there seems to be a rope tied to the top of it that seems to be elevated. Somebody would hang from that rope. They would likely Suffocate. Okay. Is there but there's no... on the other, on the other yeah. end of it? Nobody hanging from the rope. And Yet. Continue following the path. And pass by. Uh, on the side what looks to be a pitfall trap that has been exposed. With several sharp spikes on the bottom of it. You see blood splatters in the within the pit, but nobody down. Um, Kafkrum, does this fit the MO of your beloved architect? Ooh, Nestor, you're getting a little bit of static with your mic. Wow, I, 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 I didn't realize Garrus was becoming a Warforge. But <laughs> That's weird. In, in, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, it's better now, but I don't know. Does it ring a bell, Josh? It's similar, but not as high tech. Yes and no. This one remembers the architects being more. All right. 
cutting edge. So this is more crude than you expect. Could be an imitator. This one does not know specifically. Could be the deceiver. It's somebody. Just don't know what. I'll we'll just press forward. Yep, keep moving. I mean, did, does the drag marks leave, lead anywhere else, or is this it? No, they keep going. Oh, okay, then yeah, let's keep going. Uh, you come across a partially written on piece of, uh, looks to be like clothes. Mm-hmm. Kind of hanging loosely in the brush. Look at it. It is written in in common, but it's not well written common. <laughs> okay. Um, it reads, "One must sacrifice themselves." Is it one must sacrifice themselves? Yeah, and then it seems to be torn after that, and you. Follow a little bit further and find another scrap of clothing. Uh, and it says, uh, to save those you love. Huh. Interesting. So it wants me to kill myself. Well, we got ourselves a trolley problem. I assume it continues onward. It does continue onward. Keep, keep going. Yep. Keep... Mm -hmm. Like, how much time is going on between us discovering these? Is it like right one after the other? Is there like one a... round? So about six seconds. Just right oh, so it's one right feet. after the other. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got it. It's about sixty feet of boop. Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah, it's not like several minutes or anything like that. It's okay. pretty quick, successive, successively. Mm -hmm. uh, and you come across the end of the trail, which we drag marks lead to a large boulder that the seems to be placed directly over the top of the drag marks. And right on the boulder facing the path is a smiley face. That's teasing us so bad. Well, Leaf. You wanna start move wanna want us to start moving it? Yes, let us move this large boulder. Perhaps she is Underneath. Perhaps. I will help. I will help as well. Before that, I'm going to send a quick message down. It's like, Crystal, are you there? No, no, no. Don't be hasty. Why is it telling us not to be hasty? Perhaps it's, uh... Move too quickly, she dies. Move too slowly, she dies. Could be any number of those things. Either way, don't fall into the things, mind games. Wouldn't mind also like that check for traps around this boulder too. Yeah. Sure, make a investigation check. Yeah. Looks like a rock. Uh, it's not a boulder. It's a rock. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Big, beautiful yeah. rock. We got the cryptic, and we got the smiley face. Or well, maybe, well, the riddle may not be that cryptic. Uh, and 
and I'm assuming the smiley face has no significance no significance for Kafka. No. Well, seeing how it uh doesn't look trapped according to the friends, uh with their help I'm gonna try moving the boulder. Yeah. Time right. to start pushing for the strong ones. Oh, I'm okay. strong, I'm pushing. Make a strength check at advantage for somebody. Do, do I get athletics on this? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 athletics, I guess, yeah. Right. Basically, the strongest one among us would probably be ideal. And, and you know what? Give me a moment here. Move okay. 31. <laughs> nice. All right. Mm -hmm. That is just enough. As it was DC 30. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As 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 Leaf is pushing with the help, Kafgum oh, just oh. <laughs> yeah, Kafgum just kicks his foot under somewhere and just motions for somebody else to grab it. Yeah, yeah. you push the boulder. Very much more than like a two man job. Yeah. Oh, it, it, yeah. You yeah. All push it. Mm -hmm. It slides back, and you hear a very audible click. Oh shit! Click, uh, click, boom! And a pillar of flame erupts. From under mm. And deck saves. Deck saves from everybody. Yeah. Woo. What Fuck. protection? <laughs> hey. What is it? Plus Eight. four. Yep. Plus four. Twenty. Okay. Um. Yeah. If if I add the plus five, will that matter for Solania? <laughs> You're not sure. Uh, I I guess I wouldn't know, and that would be Kavgum's instinct. So I'll I'll use it. Okay. So it's a fourteen for Solania. Oh. Okay. Not okay. bad. Eight plus. Or no, or no, it's a thirteen because Garrus is a plus four. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Everybody but Solania. Oh. <laughs> I like that. I like to think that as Kof comes dodging, you're like trying to instruct her how to properly dodge. Yeah, yeah, and I just end, end up confusing her further. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, this is great. So, Solania, you take 81 points of fire oh damage. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. I am on Ooh. one. Ha! One eight three. I'm just wondering if that eighty one is because she has the death word or not. No, that's what oh. I rolled. <laughs> well, that means the death word's still intact. You can take yep. one more hit. <gasps> Everyone else takes forty one fire damage. Okay. My oh. God. Well. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna be smelling burnt cat hair. I I just grew this fur back. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Abigail, you hear a voice in your head that says, "Well, that was selfish." I didn't do it. But uh, you did also hear uh, screaming the entire time the fire was going. Oh my god. I am at 22 <laughs> hit points. I don't find wait, really? no. wait, wait, you, nope. you didn't go Wrong back math. to full? Yeah, I was like, Wrong, uh. Wrong. I do have to say, though, I agree with sweat. what the whispers say. Narcissism is a flag. What? 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 Yeah, you cut out a bit there, Josh. Sorry, let me try that again. Uh. I, I do agree with what the whispers say, though. It uh, would seem as if narcissism really is a plague. Ah, oh, fuck this one. I, I, I'm telling the group this, and In I'm the, like, uh, apologizing to Solania. You see the smile on the boulder, which is still intact, uh, morphs from a smile, where the mouth poses it on itself, and moves above the other two eyes, and they glow yellow. <laughs> Real quick, is there just like a black corpse in the hole? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call them just. <laughs> well, better get those revivifies ready. You, you know, um, uh, Leaf, what was that you said about it fighting us? I said if we were very unlucky, it would find us. But at least we would find it. We do have a tendency to be unlucky. Does this count, <laughs> yeah. does this count I, as I us mean, finding it or it finding us? I, I mean, what do you what, think, Garrus? <laughs> question: Do we all notice the mouths moving, or just? Uh, well, you would all Not notice yet. it. Uh, after, you know, a couple seconds, as there, it, it's not subtle. The mouth does close, forming a circle, moving above the other two eyes, and then glowing yellow. So, like, it's... That's the three-eyed monster emissary. The narcissist. I mm. stab it. You stab the boulder. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if the, the fucking yellow eyes is it, and it's, like, on the boulder. I mean, you the... stab the boulder, and it shatters. But the whole bat the, the whole boulder shatters. The whole boulder. Damn. This sword's awesome. <laughs> yeah. But is there something inside? A smaller bomb. <laughs> yeah. Another death save. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just a ninth level uh delayed blast fireball. That's uh, been held for maximum. The <laughs> there is something inside actually, as the boulder crumbles away, there is a shadowy presence of dark energy floating within the center. Extra attack, I hit it. <laughs> Alright. Before he attacks, and I, st I wanted to heal Solania. Yeah. Too late. Yeah. Dad, this is it. gonna suck. I this. this is all happening very fast. This is. Yeah, I, I mean... That would probably be least reaction. Yeah, it's just yeah. stab the thing, stab it again. Yeah. So. So you want me to roll or? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you said you were stabbing it. Well, I didn't know because he didn't have me roll for the boulder. Yeah. The best well, things always happen to this group. Twenty six. Because it's it's All kind right. of hard to miss a boulder. Your sword passes right through it. Yeah. Man, it's, it's times like this where I wish I had Banishing Smite. That ain't for a long while. Now you can heal. Okay. As the smoke matter mass uh, continues to levitate where the center of the boulder was. Same three eyes, I'm assuming? Oh, I didn't describe eyes. Yes, it's a shadowy mass. It's a shadowy mass. Uh, keeping my eyes on the shadowy mass, uh, I tell Garrus, perhaps there's something you can do about our charred friend in the hole. Du -du 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 -du. Uh, <laughs> last minute, I can probably still bring them back to life. I'm gonna try. Just, yeah, just Cobgum looking down. I'm gonna try and get to them within enough time to do a, a revivify. Alright, yeah, you slide into the hole and cast revivify. And she frees it, just <gasps> ow! It's alright, you come with me. Sort of over the shoulder, out of the This one finds your process of reverse jerkification interesting. <laughs> Does anybody recognize this person? I mean... Oh my God. Crystal? Crystal, is that you? A Abby? Crystal? Okay. As I throw over the shoulder, I'll pump 20 points of lay on hand. Okay. Yeah, you, you see the burns. Uh... Begin to heal. Let me go Maybe ahead and use my scars. My second wind, real quick. Hey, I nice. Said, it's also a good idea. Yeah. 
I'm actually going to cast this too, just in case. All right, you cast your aura, and as it reaches out and touches the shadowy mass, it is dispelled. Oh, son of a gun. Well, <laughs> uh, did that? Did did you mean to? No, it it disappeared. Target my, the uh... target the man. No, well, I think I, I think it's I... just in, it's in the area. I think it's in the area, and it touched him because it's thirty foot and radius. Yeah. And... The the radiant energy seeps outward. The healing energy seeps outward, reaches about twenty feet or reaching <laughs> mass, and then it turns dark and rises. As it like just shimmers away. Yeah. Can use the rest of myself. Cause this ain't gonna go well. <laughs> Kafka was just kind of looking at the thing and trying to gauge what it is. Do we have a debit box? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, just in case, I'm gonna put a. I'm I'm, I'm gonna just uh, bop Abby with one of these. Okay. Bop. Capital remove curse. Don't feel any effects to remove. Okay. Um. That, that, that helped. Yes. <laughs> Kafka was just going to cast Fairy Fire on it. <laughs> on, on, like, like where the shadow is like right at the edge and it doesn't target anybody else. Okay. Yeah, you cast just Fairy Fire see... over the top of it. All of the lights cling to the shadow. And then turn black and evaporate. Okay. Can I make it uh, arcane? See what the hell's going on. Sure. I would like to do that as well. Nah, eh, I'll do the stupid intelligence modifier thing. So nineteen. Okay. It's uh... <laughs> really use the flashes of genius. Yes. <laughs> I mean, use them if you got them, right? Yeah. Yeah. You uh, you're both certain that this is something magical. But you're not sure if it's a creature or what exactly it is. But for whatever reason, anything made of magical light just does not work on it at all. Oh no, that means my sword's not going to work on him. Your sword just has light on it. It's still it has light on it, but it won't light up. It sucks the magic out of it. Just because I'm curious, I will also attempt to stab it. Okay. I'd swing a torch through it. You swing a torch through it and it goes out. But it comes out the other side. Still lit though, right? No, it goes. It completely like stuffs out. <sighs> oh, well, shit. What it happens if I pull out one of my necrotic arrows and then shoot at oh, it? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. No? No? Okay. No, 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 let's not do that. Okay. It's a bolt, first of all. <laughs> Alright, you swing the conduit through it. Nothing happens. Okay, good. <laughs> I vicious Ow. mock it. Alright, roll damage. You take six damage. I do? Yes. Ow. That hurt, guys. How, uh... How high off the ground is this thing? It's floating about a foot off the ground. Oh, okay. It's more mocking does, than actually trying to do anything to us. Does it seem like does it seem to be doing anything? Like has it grown larger since we nope. put magic in it, or just sitting there? It's just float there. It's amorphous. So it's just kind of shadowy wisps moving around. Don't see anything inside of it that is moving around. There's nothing that you've impacted swinging weapons through or torches through. Alright. Is there a path further down the way? 
This is where it ended. Yeah. Well, this is just where it ends. Yep. It ended with this boulder over this shallow grave. <laughs> just <laughs> looking it at was the literally woman? just the drag marks of this woman that we just yeah. brought back to life. Yeah. Just after look, we actually yeah. killed her. Looking at the woman, looking at the shadow. Um Kafka, does this trap um you know seem more like his ma your buddy's ma your buddy. It's, it is, it possesses similarities in some ways, but this is not one I've encountered. Then you say he likes explosions. That part, yes, but this, I, this one does not understand the significance of whatever this is. It's some sort of anti-magic. Absorbing magic or... Hmm. Can I hit it with a regular rapier? I was just about to do the same thing with my maul. <laughs> We're just sort of going to the list of like, maybe if we hit it with non-magical weapons. I mean, well, yeah. I tried that with a torch, but I put it out. But it's well, light. That was, that was light-based, yeah. But it wasn't magic-based. But it was light-based. You said light. Anything that's magical or light... Ah, oh, I didn't hear that part. Roll, roll your attack. Ooh, nice. Passes right through. Oh, that's a crit down. At the I... same time. <laughs> same thing, right through. I think it's an illusion, guys. Probably. Yeah. Um... It seems very real. Well, not to us. <laughs> uh, nobody has to spell magic, right? Don't look at me. What do you mean? Cal has, the best... Cal has the, the best one. way to spell magic. <laughs> Shooting somebody in the head. <laughs> I mean, I have to land either. the attack first. Uh, try, no. it with, try it with fire. I'm big cow, you can shoot fire. Wait, a torch. It was fire. Stupid. Yeah. This one could attempt to remove it if it is magic, but I don't know if it will absorb the magic instead. This seems more like mockery, and I feel as. Well, this is possibly wasting. true. And it could very well be wasting our time. And yeah. to be honest, Abigail, we, your friend just we went saved a Crystal. Very yeah, so that's traumatic experience. So why don't we uh, yeah, go to the cart to... and get to yeah. a town and at the very least a safer place than right here, yes. since yeah. it is yes. the middle of the night and we're very right. in the open. Yes, that's good. and loud sounds around here, so it might be a good idea to move away before we draw the attention of. Something. Everything. Just moving Let's away. go. <laughs> Alright. As soon as we get away, I'm going to talk to Crystal. I'm going to ask her if she uh, is well, willing to take a long nap. Move away uh, from the shadowy mist, we get. Ten feet away, and it moves with you. Is it moving with the group as a whole, or does it seem to be a person? It seems to be following Abigail. This might be what is referred to as the reflection. Why? Uh, just sort of going to start moving Abigail left and right. 
Okay. Because you do that and it stays there unless you move her more than ten feet away from it. In yeah, case it moves. Yeah, it I'm sort of time. trying to do. I'm going to send it a message. What do you want? You point at it, send it a message, and hear your message back to you. Why me? Same thing. Hmm? You get the same thing. It seems to reflect all of your psychic stuff back to you. No, it's just a mimic. I think we have been to the cart. We rest because trying to deal with this thing while capped out and severely wounded is not a good idea. He's going to be following us every time until we deal with it. I'm just staring at it. Thomas, time. go to your room. Just go to your room. The true mother has appeared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> God comes just staring at it. Garrus? No. You're hmm? too strong. You're too strong for me. Um... Wait, um, what? I need context for that. No, uh, there was uh, a <laughs> You, Cal, come here. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that was really funny. Sure, I'll come over. Punch me. What? Punch you? Punch me hard. Oh. At that point, you might as well have a leaf do it. I want to see if I can damage him through me. I, I don't want to hurt you, though. Just do it. Uh, Slani, do you have Revivify prep? No. No, I, I don't have anything of that. And I'm tapped out. I can't bring her back if she dies by her idea. Said so sacrifice me. In the... This one believes we are beyond that point. Mm -hmm. I just well, I'm just gonna do it. I'm going to grab my dagger and just no, no, do no. a tiny cut. No, 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 no. And I do a tiny cut. <laughs> Calcum just sitting and watching, just interested. Right on my hand. No, not my hand, because I have my gloves. Right on my uh, arm. You give yourself a small cut. Mm-hmm. You deal one point of damage to yourself. Did and the you... shadow react? And you take one point of necrotic damage. I took necrotic damage too? Yep. So I take two points of damage. Yep. Mm. Did it work? I don't know. Did he flinch? Well, it's just an amorphous blob of black shadow. Yeah, there's nothing to really tell. No. But... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forget if we asked how big it was. It's, a, like, if it were, like, creature size, it'd be, like, a medium-sized creature. Oh, okay. So it's, okay. It's it, it's a good size. Yeah, fairly large. Okay. <laughs> Just kind of staring at it.
This one wonders something. Hmm. Speak your mind. And Kavkim will speak in a very uncomfortable language for everybody to hear as he asks, Can you understand me to it? In Aklo. Aklo. In where? <laughs> when the DMs ask where? You know it's, you know it's <laughs> out there. Huh? I asked Josh. Josh, that was okay. I, I, <laughs> this is more common trying to see if he'll get a response out of it. Or Cal understood it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. So it turns out Cal's been a worshiper of this thing the whole time and guns us all down. What do you say to it? Uh, I was just asking, literally, can you understand me? Yes. Oh, shit. Just nods. <laughs> so? W w was it said, like, Mentally or like out loud? Mentally. Okay. Cal would just be like, the fuck was that? This one has learned how to communicate with such things as this. And what is such things as this? <laughs> I'm just to it in. In Aklo. This is like the puzzle of last time. Yeah, yeah, to it in Aklo. Just. What is your intention? Or, or, no, rather. What is your design? I must cause destruction. To break the end of days. Well, that's not the deceiver of the narcissist, that's for sure. <laughs> he hadn't said shit about that. You don't know shit. <laughs> How do you intend to do so? That's a secret. That's a secret. <laughs> I assume you can understand them. Yeah. Just to ask a question he thinks he already knows the answer to. Who do you serve? Arrow. Okay. <laughs> Calgum will say no more. Well, that was an interesting display. Sorry, what happened? I was I was amazed. Our friend here spoke in a very uh, interesting language. Just kind of reaches out, pops jaw back into place. Wait, you had to dislocate your jaw to speak that? 
This one has found that reproducing sounds was difficult for mortal tongues. Yeah. Yeah, think. Well, did it did it say how to stop it? Just looks at Leaf. Did the blank stare? What? <laughs> hey, man, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then looks at Solania because she's wearing the captain's hat and is obviously the leader. <laughs> <laughs> if I say this is normal, will you judge us even harsher? And Skelly attack it. Just, just, just looks back at Leaf. That is a great question. Can this the <laughs> parrot dog thing? <laughs> still unsure what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, cause the Kogum still looks like. like a... Yeah, the Kogum is still looks like a parrot. I just, I don't even know how to like deal with that right now. Skelly's just being a jackass. Like a girl. I'm now just picturing once he uses his breath. It's just a parrot that just breathes elemental stuff out of it. Is yeah. Scally attempting to attack it? I don't know. I don't know if he'll do shit. Uh, we won't know until we find it. <laughs> until you do it. <laughs> sure. All right. Roll attack. <laughs> yeah. Um, is he breathing on it, or is he actually trying to fight it? <laughs> just give me a second. I'm mentally preparing myself for how bad this could actually go. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, wow. All right. You breathe the elemental breath over the top of the shadowy mist. Some of it seems to disappear and evaporate, while others of it seem to get passed through. Okay, then. All right, so we just have to wait for him to keep on getting that back and just keep doing it. Let's see if it's actually working. Yeah, yeah, just the shadow of look. Yeah, I don't think it worked. Changed at all. Ask if it hurt. You wanted to pop that jaw again? Kind of gestures to it and just... That one can understand us. I figured. Did that hurt? I don't think he'd be willing to speak to us if you if you wanted to admit that. Cons considering they seem to have a strong grasp of our languages. What this one knows would surprise this one if most of them did not have some capacity in all languages. Well, once the morning came, oh. we were left alone before, so... One way to find out. Do we want to head back to the cart and, like, rest or something? At least... Yeah? Something would be better than just standing out here. Calvin shrugs, starts moving. Sounds like it's going to come following us anyway. So, might as well 
go to the cart so we're not just standing out in the middle of a field. Okay. A short distance away from a tree that can hang something. A clock that can hang something. Sorry, a clock that can hang something, because that's normal. Is any of this normal? This one finds your conceptions of mortality or normality limiting. Anyways, continue walking. Con considering we literally fought a um, a mass of water yesterday, a couple days ago. Four or five days ago. this rest in the morning we'll deal with it all right deal with it in the morning i guess assuming you can even make your bubble thing with it nearby he's not allowed inside well if it dispels magic then it might not matter if it's allowed i'll just cast it as a ritual and let's see if it He'll dispel it. And I will do that once we're ready. All right. You do that, you cast your spell. And it lingers right outside the bubble. That's unnerving. Rest, everybody. Don't tell me twice. I'm assuming three watches, two each. Mm -hmm. Works for me. Okay. No need to roll. Uh, your rest goes off with no problems. Now you have Revivify. Yeah. All right. Dying. Or so. Just in case. Death. Give me the other diamond. I'll give you the other diamond. Is the shadow still out there when we wake up? It's absorbed the sun. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, we wake up and there's no light. Just a vantablack circle in the middle of the, the area. No. Like Mike said, it swallowed the sun. You wake up in the morning, and the shadowy mist whatever the fuck it was uh, is not there as it fades when the sun comes out just <laughs> just a slight crack as the jaw hinges and just Kavgum asking out if it's still there and we just can't see it I'm assuming Abigail talked to her friend at least at some point during the night Assuming she wasn't just resting the whole time. I didn't want to bother her because she was in need of sleep. And she's traumatized. Yeah, yeah. Death doesn't put a number on people. Mm -hmm. 
especially dying in a fucking pillar of fire. I'll just hold her hand and wait for her to respond. What did you say to her? I'm sorry. I'll just hold her hand and just wait for her to respond. Like, I'm just comforting her. She just is there, kind of not really annoyed, I can say. Um, I'm just going to give her time to process what happened. Quietly. Uh, so we um, gonna keep going, or are we gonna see if that thing is still there? I think it only comes out at night. But I'm. Um... Most, I feel like it's still attached to it. I mean, I can try casting the aura again to see if it dispels. Is that what you're doing? I was waiting for some. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, I'll cast it. Okay. You cast it and it succeeds. Okay. Well, that seems promising. Succeeds at what though? Oh. I feel better even though I'm full health. Oh yeah, I guess we did get a long rest, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Cool. Probably be a good idea to make note of this area again. What shall we call it? Flaming boulder hole? <clears throat> the shadow zone. The shadow zone. In the zone, shadow zone. Flaming shadow. Uh, just mark it on our map. And Call it, call it the hanging clock. Because that yeah. is a unique thing about this place. Assuming the clock's still there. Should see it from this direction. I mean, station there. Well, I mean, I, you would have seen it as she went back out to the carriage area. Right, but I mean, like, now that it's daytime. It... Oh, it's still there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, as you guys wake in the morning and begin to 
prepare yourself for traveling throughout the rest of the day. Uh, I think this is a good you spot to, to uh, yeah. end for the night. Yeah. Well, really. Yeah. Yeah. So a little good bit. to me. And on that note, I will end the stream here. So thank you, everyone that's watching. Appreciate it. And we will be streaming again Wednesday on another game, but we will definitely be back again Monday for another session of this one. So until then, Yay. take care, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Good night.